To help TurboLister users get up to speed, let's take a look at TurboLister and 6-bit side by side and compare the differences and similarities. TurboLister has grids for inventory, waiting to upload, and listing activity. Inventory and waiting to upload are grids that you'll look at and work with while you're creating items before you've listed them, and listing activity is for a grid of items once they've been listed. 6-bit breaks this down a little bit more into separate modes. In 6-bit, there's a sell items mode. This is where you'll work with items before they're listed. And then there's a separate check listings mode. This is where you'll work with items once they've been listed. 6-bit also has a ship orders mode, which is where you'll work with your items once the items have sold and you want to ship them. Let's take a look at the sell items mode. In TurboLister, the inventory is stored in sort of a, a structured folder system, and it's very similar in 6-bit. The closest thing in 6-bit is what we call the repository. The repository also allows you to add folders and subfolders and organize your items in sort of a catalog subfolder structure. In TurboLister, when you're finished with an item and you're ready to upload it, you move it into waiting to upload. In 6-bit, we have a separate area to manage all of your workflow. And that's the Workflow tab. So under the Workflow tab, you'll see that any items that you're currently creating will be in under construction. When you finish with them, you can drag them into a waiting upload. And when you list them, they'll automatically appear in previously listed. At a future date, when you're finished with an item and you'll never be listing it anymore, you can move it into retired to get it out of the way. The important thing to remember about the workflow and the repository views is that they're both showing the same items. The repository view is showing your items in an organized um, hierarchical structural format and the workflow is showing them based on what actions have been taken on them or what actions have to be taken on them. So for example, in the repository, Avengers Endgame will be in media, but in the workflow, it could be an under construction, and when we're ready to list it, we can move it to a waiting upload. Workflow and repository are just two different ways of looking at the same group of items. 6-bit also has a third way of looking at those items, and that's on the Views tab. Now, the views are really just nothing more than saved searches, and 6-bit comes with some built-in views. For example, you can see all of the items that are available to list and currently unlisted on eBay, or you could take a look at all of yours that are relistable for credit on eBay. And in addition to that, any search that you perform yourself in the future, you can save as a view so that you can quickly get back and see that um, search at any point in the future. So the Sell Items view is where you'll find the equivalent of the TurboLister inventory and waiting to upload grids. But the Listing Activity grid can be found in the Check Listings mode in 6-bit. You'll see that the Workflow view in Check Listings shows the same stuff you get in TurboLister, uh, just with different names. So the Scheduled Listings in TurboLister are under Pending in 6-bit. Active listings are under running in 6-bit, and ended listings are under completed. And just like the sell items mode, the check listings mode has its own views tab where you can get to previously saved searches. A few things to point out on the check listings mode are some name changes. In eBay, they call the unique identifier of an item the eBay ID. But because we're multi-channel and we support multiple sites, uh, we generalize that and we call it the e-commerce ID. So in 6-bit, e-commerce ID is really the eBay ID. Another subtle difference is that on eBay, they call it end listings and we call it cancel listings. TurboLister doesn't really have any functionality for managing your sales once they've occurred. But I wanted to show you in 6-bit the ship orders mode because this is where I think TurboLister users can get some of the most added benefit out of moving up to 6-bit. So once your items have sold, you can now also trace them in 6-bit through the workflow of the sell process. So you can trace them through awaiting payment or in process, meaning they're ready to be um, processed and shipped or fulfilled. So while items are in process, you can do things like print postage and carrier labels, purchase shipping insurance,
You can send emails, including acknowledge payments or drop shipper notifications, shipping notifications. When it's shipped, you can mark it as shipped and it'll notify eBay of the shipping and any tracking numbers. And you can also leave feedback. And depending on the version you have, you can even do things like printing packing lists and pick lists or uh, managing consigners and printing payouts to consigners. The ship orders mode is really where I think most TurboLister users will see the most added benefit in 6-bit. If it's taking you a lot of time to ship your orders, you really should look into the functionality that we provide to help you manage that whole process. At the end of this video, I'll provide links to help you learn more about the ship orders. And finally, there are two more modes in 6-bit I want to show you. The dashboard mode is where you'll see 6-bit announcements. You'll see some seller dashboard summary information and information on your recent feedback. Also, if there's a new version of 6-bit, you'll see that under the to-do list. There'll be a, a button here you can push to, to get the latest updates. The support mode is where you'll go if you need help. On the support mode, it gives you access to our user's guide, the discussion forum, your client area on our website, uh, the video library that contains this video and many more, and the support page on our website. And if you need to get in touch with us, you can click this button right here to submit a support ticket.